Hello and welcome to another Beaufort County Report. I'm Chloe G and I am here with Ken from Thomas and Hudden representing the American Public Works Association. We are here at the Low Country Regional Public Works Training Conference and we're going to be providing you full coverage. So Ken, thank you for joining us and, and doing an interview with us. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So starting off, can you tell us a little bit more about your company and what you guys do? Okay, well, I appreciate that. So as far as Thomas & Hutton, it's a, a company that's been involved, uh, been in business since 1946, was started by two, two fellows who uh, came out of the, out of the war and uh, they were with the US, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, got together, decided to start a civil engineering uh, company. And uh, here we are now, we are uh, Southeast uh, represented in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and um, yeah, absolutely enjoying. So if you ask me what we do, uh, if you go outside the building and you look to your left, look to your right, look straight ahead, everything at, that you see, that's what we're involved with, yes. Just a whole scoop of things. Yeah, absolutely, just like Public Works is. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, and it is very important and very underrated, so that's why I think it's great that we're able to have this conference and showcase. I, I am too, especially here in the lovely Beaufort County, Beaufort County area. It's a, a great place to hold the, the conference, and uh, I've taken a look at all the various presentations, the education that's involved, and provided today, and it's it's really impressive. You know, we have three tracks: uh, environmental, transportation, and stormwater. And especially on a day like today, with uh, the storm events that we're having, it's it's so important to have uh, fully trained and educated folks as far as the um, uh, stormwater systems and how they operate, how to maintain them, how to uh, fix them, clean them, all that good stuff. It's also Stormwater Awareness Week, so I know oh, you. I have been keeping up with everything on social media and updating all the citizens about that. That so, is fantastic. The importance of it. And I know you're with American Public Works Association. Can yes. you tell me more about that? I would love to tell you more about that. So, uh, I'm, and I'll, I'll get more detailed at lunchtime uh, during our panel discussion, but back in 2010, my boss came into my office and said, you need to find an organization that you're passionate about. Oh, I'm going to tear up. I, I, I know I am because I'm so passionate about APWA. And anyways, that very afternoon, all right, my boss came in and said, you need to become involved. That very afternoon, a fellow by the name of Steve Price, he's public works director for the city of Goose Creek, puts out an email asking for people to join him on the chapter level, state chapter level education committee. And talk about someone putting a door in front of you and opening it up and I'm glad I walked through that door because it, since that point I have had the opportunity to meet so many great people involved and associated with American Public Works. Uh, they're all great people all out there to serve the public and that's that's I found my passion. It's amazing that um, you're able to find your passion and you're able to keep it here. How many years did you say since you've been in? So 2010. So for 14 years and you're still this passionate about it, I think that's amazing. So what does coming out to a conference like this really mean to you and getting to see your fellow uh, people you work with in your industry and how does it, what does it mean to you? Well, there's two things that it means to me. The first thing, the, the most important thing is the education. I love the, the education that's available to us. As an engineer, we have to keep uh, up to speed with, uh, with changes and whatnot. So just to have the education there, but also just as important, I think, is the networking opportunities. To be able to go in and actually, there are people in there that I don't know and I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting them and getting to know them and, and, and understanding how we all work together and, and how we can make, the, make it better for the public. Well, Ken, is there anything else you would like to mention? Uh, thank you all, everyone that came out to uh, our exhibitors. I want to Tetra Tech. They're not in the screen, but I just want to give a shout out to Tetra Tech. They brought rubber duckies, which, by the way, on the stormwater, when you're trying to figure out how the stormwater is flowing, those rubber duckies are the best way to figure that out. Really? I yes. didn't know that. So you make sure you get yourself a, a rubber ducky from Tetra Tech over there, okay? All righty. I will make sure to do that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here and helping us to spread the word, okay? Really Alrighty. appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time, Ken, and stay tuned. We will be doing a lot more interviews and a lot more coverage. So make sure you stick around here with us.